Hey Gateway Kids, Mr. Dan here, and I am so excited to be on Gateway Kids Online. Man, I hope you guys have been having an awesome week. I've had a great week. It is time to worship Jesus. So right where you're at, you can get up on your feet. Come on, get up off the couch. Yep, yep, stand up from that kitchen table. Put down that spoon from your cereal. Get up, because we're about to worship Jesus. Here we go! Allow me to show you something. I saw illuminates stepping into the dark. And our voice will never fade. Choosing you from the start. This right Just 
Everybody. That was so awesome. I love being able to worship with you guys right where you're at. Hey, I have a quick joke for you. Are you ready? What do you call a sleepy dinosaur? A dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> it's
it's game time! Okay, Mr. Dan and Miss Katie are gonna play a fun game called Egg Roulette. Here's the rules. There is 12 eggs here. Four of them are raw, the rest of them are hard boiled. One by one, we're gonna grab an egg, smash it on our head. If it's a raw egg, you are down by one. If you are the person that gets two raw eggs smashed on the head, you are the loser. Oh, Mr. My. Dan, are you ready to smash eggs on your head? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, ladies first. <laughs> oh, no. Ouch! Hard boiled. Oh, that's a point for us, Katie. <laughs> Oh, hard boiled. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> yep. Go. Oh! <laughs> One point. Miss Katie lost. Ready? Not hard boiled. <laughs> oh, hard boiled. Yeah! I ripped a piece of your hair out. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Guys, if this is raw, I lose. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ouch! Hard boiled. Oh my, you didn't um, do that, enough emphasis. Yes, I did, that hurt. Ready? Oh, oh yeah, oh, hard Mr. boiled. Mr. Dan, there is not much to choose from here. Oh gosh, are you ready? It is dripping off my hands. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, it's still hard boiled. Hard it's boiled. Stuck. Okay. Here we go. Hard boiled. Uh oh. That means three of the last four are raw. <laughs> Pick wisely. Oh gosh. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Ouch! <laughs> oh, that means I get a raw egg. <laughs> well, <laughs> you win some and you lose some. Right now, you want to do it at the same time? Sure, let's do it. One, One two, three. Egg roulette. Ah! Wow, I can't believe we just did that. That was so awesome. But, Mr. Dan, do you know what time it is? Yes, I do. I think it's time for a dance, dance break. break! Now we got our blood pumping, it's time to get our mind a moving. Check this out. Hey Gateway Kids, it's Miss Katie here, and it's time to go over our series memory verse. Our verse for this series is found in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. It says, so then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Now I want you to watch carefully as I teach you the motions. They go like this. So then faith. Take both your hands and cross them in front of you, making a cross. Comes by hearing. Pull both your hands towards you and place them behind your ears. And hearing, take both hands and put them back behind your ears. By the words, point both your fingers at your mouth of God, point up to heaven. Romans 10, 17, clap your hands together and open them up like a book. Now, I want you guys to join me in doing the motions. Are you ready? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans, 10, 17. You guys did great. Now I need everybody up on their feet. Get out of those chairs and do the motions with me and say the words this time. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 
1017. Great job, you guys. You guys did so good. You can sit back down now. High five. Shh. Hey, everybody. We're in our series called I Believe. Everyone say it with me. I Believe. In this series, we're going to be talking about the things we believe make up who we are. And the Bible is something we can believe and trust in. That's right. So today's big idea is this. God wants us to trust him. So everyone say, God, point straight up, wants us, point at yourself, to trust, hug yourself, him. That's right. So God wants us to trust him. I want to ask you guys a couple superhero trivia questions. Are you ready? Here's the first question. Which superhero can throw spider webs out of the wrist? Is it Superman or Spider-Man? Spider-Man, you got it. Pew, pew, pew. I got one more question for you. Which Supergirl can fly? Is it Catwoman or Superwoman? Superwoman, you guys are so good. You're all so smart. The reason why I wanted to ask you some superhero trivia questions is because we're going to be talking about a Bible superhero today. This Bible he superhero's name is Noah. Everyone say Noah. That's right. Noah was a man just like Mr. Dan. He had a family. He had a job. He had a really cool beard. Yeah, I think he combed it once in a while. But one day, Noah was just doing his normal daily life. And he heard from God, just like we can hear from God. And this is what God told Noah. He said, Noah, it's going to rain, so build a boat. And Noah goes, what is rain? Noah didn't know what rain was. It's kind of like me telling you, go outside because Skittles are going to fall from the sky. You'd be like, no way. And Noah was super surprised. So Noah had a choice. Was he going to trust God or not trust God? But Noah chose to trust God. God. So Noah started building his boat. Yep, act, act like you have a hammer and start building a boat. He built this boat and it was a beautiful boat. Everyone around him was like, Noah's crazy. Everyone said, this can't be true. It's not going to rain. We don't even know what rain is. But Noah still trusted God. And then one day, that day came, the rain started falling from the sky and Noah was saved. He was able to go onto the boat and put all the animals on there. And he saved his family and all the animals because he trusted God. We all have to make choices every single day. What time are we going to get up? Am I going to drink a Coke or Mountain Dew? Am I going to wear Nikes or my other pair of Nikes? Am I going to eat cereal with milk? or without milk? Am I going to eat a banana? Or am I going to eat an apple? These are all super easy choices, but sometimes we have to make hard choices, right? And are we going to trust ourselves or are we going to trust God with those hard choices? See, Noah was a guy that trusted God. He didn't trust himself. He trusted God. See, we hear God's voice and we have to trust him. And that's a choice you have to choose. So this hard choice, are you going to trust God or are you going to trust yourself? That's a question we all have to answer. And so I believe we can all trust God with the little things and the big things. The best way to trust God is by giving him your whole heart. Let him have your whole heart. Let him have your life. You have to trust God with everything you have, and he'll direct your footsteps. So if you believe that, I want you guys to pray this prayer with me. Everyone bow your heads, close your eyes. Everyone say, Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. I know I can trust you, and I believe in you. I believe in your Bible, and I know it's true. I thank you for dying on the cross and for giving me of my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, everybody. It has been awesome hanging out with you guys. And we want to make this lesson stick. So right now, if you look in our YouTube 
description, you'll find a link, a link to our circles. Circles is something we do every single week with your child. This makes the lesson stick. There will be circle questions in there, a game for you guys to play, and a summary of everything that we talked about. So go to that description right now, click on that link, and it'll be right there for you guys to do circles as a family. Also, we want to tell you something that's really exciting. Miss Katie. Weekly challenge. So last week we presented you guys with a weekly challenge of building a tower. Check out our Instagram and Facebook pages tonight to see who the winner was of the tallest tower. It was not Mr. Dan. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. This week, your weekly challenge is gonna be super fun. We want you guys to cook something. That could be as simple as like getting creative with your cereal, maybe mixing different kinds, adding different stuff to it, or maybe you're a really good cook or a really good baker. We wanna see what you can make. Yes. Cakes, dinner, breakfast, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you tag Gateway Kids on Instagram or Facebook Absolutely. so that we can see your creations. Yes. It's been awesome hanging out with you guys. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>